watching my monthly magic vlog. And unlike the month of February, <laughs> um, the month of March, there's not really that much to announce, honestly, other than the fact that I will be on television. Television, March 4th at 8 o'clock p.m. on the Syracuse Public Access Channel. So if you get that channel and you're local around my area, be sure to tune in because it's going to be wicked fun. I'm going to do some tricks for the interviewer and she's going to ask me some questions about my bathroom, which is going to be pretty sweet. And if you're not from around my area, I'll don't worry because I'll upload it to this channel so you'll still get to see it, which is going to be awesome. So yeah! I also have a show coming up at Shopping Town Mall, which I will be doing with a bunch of other magicians, which I'll also upload to this channel, as well as some other events I'm going to that I'll be doing street magic at, so it's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the month of March. However, I do have one last thing that I'd like to try with every single one of you. Okay. This is going to be a interactive mind reading experiment. I'm going to attempt to reach into your mind right through the computer screen that you're using right now and see if I can control it. Right? There's much psychology. There's much psychology involved in what I'm about to do, which requires much concentration from both, from both me and you. So follow my instructions exactly what I say and enjoy. So check it out. So for this experiment to work, you're going to need three items. One, a piece of paper. Two, a utensil to write with, whether it's a pen, a marker, a pencil, or whatever you prefer. And three, a calculator. <laughs> you probably won't need these three items, so you don't have to use them if you don't want to. Or if you think you're good at math, because most people can do all the math in their head. But you might need them if you think you will. So if you think you need them, go ahead and pause the video, go grab them, come back, and we'll start the experiment. All right, so got them? Sweet. Let's begin. I'd like you to think of any number in your mind, one through 10. So go ahead and think of any number in your mind, one through 10. Got one? Good. That's going to be your secret number. Take your secret number, multiply it by two, or double it, so to speak. Once you've doubled it, add the number eight to the new number you have now. Done that? Excellent. Now you should have an even newer number than before. Take that new number and divide it by two. Good. Now, so now do you remember the number that you began with? Or the number that you chose one through 10 with? The number you first started with? You should. So take that number and subtract it from the new number you now have. Good. So here's the deal. I'd like you to, th to convert that number to a letter. For instance, if your number was one, your letter would be A. If your number was two, your letter would be B. If your number was three, your letter would be C, and so on. So convert your number to the letter it corresponds with, basically, all right? So now you should have nothing else in your mind but one letter. Take that one letter and think of any country in the world that begins with that letter you're thinking of. Think of any country in the world that begins with that letter. <laughs> Done that? All right. So now you should have a country in your mind. 
but still be thinking of that letter. Because what I want you to do is I want you to take that letter and move it one letter forward. For instance, if your letter was A, move it to B. If your letter was B, move it to C. All right, you should have a new letter now, but still be thinking of the country. So what I'd like you to do with that letter is think of any animal that begins with that letter. Think of any animal that starts with that letter. Got one? Excellent. So let's recap here. You should be thinking of two things. One, a country. Two, an animal. Got those two things in your mind? Excellent, because the third and last thing I want you to think of is the color of that animal you're thinking of. All right, you should be thinking of three things right now. So, let's put these three things to the test, shall we?